a lot of people think the thumb is foundational to um, to the human civilization. Um, is there any truth to that? I think that is true. Actually, one of the ways in which the importance of individual fingers comes uh, to attention is when people have severe injuries to their fingers. For instance, um, I have a story in the book about a guy whose thumb is nearly ripped off by his dog's leash. And, you know, when we, when plastic surgeons, who are often the ones to repair that, sometimes it's orthopedic surgeons, they will debate, you know, how important is it to save this finger? Or how important is it to save, you know, let's say the kind of tip, uh, the one third, the tip one third of one of your fingers, you know, it depends on the length that you'll lose, it depends on which finger. And so the thumb really is the most crucial, um, just, you know, for your occupation, in most cases, to just daily life. Um, and your ability to get around, and take care of yourself and others. So, you know, the, they'll be more, they're willing to go further, do more surgeries, more aggressive therapy to save a thumb, let's say, um, than, you know, the tip of your pinky finger. So in that way, I do think the thumb, you know, does seem like the most important in many ways. It's nice that there's backups. I wonder if that's part of the feature, or is it just the symmetry that nature produces? You think, you think the two hands is, is like, is it about the symmetry or is it about backup? We'd be much less formidable hunters, gatherers, uh, survivors in any way if we only had one hand. So I think that is important to have two. So we can, you know, even everything from kind of uh, spearing an animal to firing a bow and arrow to butchering an animal, you really need two hands to do it very effectively. But can you do a better job with three? Great so, question. <laughs> and we'll never know, perhaps. <laughs>